Francis continues his visit in the nation's capital today, an official arrival ceremony at the White House, and the first look at the Pope Mobile. <laughs> Jeff Barn is at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception as Pope Francis celebrates Mass. Good morning. This is the Basilica at Catholic University where Pope Francis will be holding a canonization mass for Junipero Serra. Now this mass was followed by an earlier visit to the White House on the part of Pope Francis to meet Barack Obama and also First Lady Michelle Obama. It was a beautiful morning on the South Lawn of the White House where President Barack Obama welcomed Pope Francis in grand fashion. The People's Pope speaking in English went right to the hot button political issues praising Obama for proposing initiatives to reduce air pollution. Climate change is a problem we can no longer be left to a future generation. President Barack Obama zeroed in on another political issue very dear to Pope Francis, immigration. And that means welcoming the stranger with empathy and a truly open heart. From the refugee who flees war-torn lands, to the immigrant who leaves home in search of a better life. Afterwards, Pope Francis finally got the interaction he so cherishes with the thousands of people lining the streets outside the White House. Security kept things tight as the Pope Mobile made its way around the National Mall for a mini parade, but he was still able to stop and kiss a few babies. Now on the way here, I spoke to a lot of people, media and also people who want to be here alike, and security is extremely tight. And I talked to a group of people and I asked, if you could talk one-on-one -on -one with Pope Francis, what would you say? And one lady just looked at me and said, I don't think I would say anything. I think I would just give him a hug. This is a Pope with a lot of sway. Reporting from the Basilica of the Catholic University in Washington, D.C., I'm Jeff Barn. And we will be live streaming many of the Pope's official events during his visit. You will find a link on the homepage at local12.com. Stay with us for continuing coverage on the air and online. New at 6, the local nun who could one day become a saint.